All motorists are sitting targets with respect to having money taken off them for jobs uh, that need doing on the car because they do need maintaining on a regular basis. The very first thing I'm going to do is have a look at the air filter here. This cleans the air before it goes into the engine so that it doesn't cause any excessive wear to the carburetor or the fuel injection system. And this is about one of the simplest tasks that we're going to be doing. And quite simply, it's a container with a lid on that we're going to remove now. And it should reveal uh, an air filter element, which will be a bit mucky. So with this lid taken off, we've got an old air filter there. And I've got a new one to compare it. Quite simply, you can see that this looks quite uh, clean until you show the new one and you can see that this is particularly uh, nice and bright and shiny. So we're going to dispense with that one and fit the new one. So that pops in there. The lid just quite simply goes on top and then we will just tighten up all those screws in turn, make sure it's nice and tight and secure. Next, we're going to move on to the spark plugs. We've got four of them because it's a four cylinder engine and we're going to start off with this one here we pull off the plug lead and simply remove the spark plug here. Now I'm using a ratchet and an extension which can be found in any simple tool set that you might have at home or available from your motorist discount centre on your high street. So if we get this out and we can see it's quite dirty and oily and it's a little bit worn and we're going to replace it with a nice shiny new one. We've got a nice clean one. It's the same shape, it's the same part number. And we've got a couple of electrodes here. We've got an earth electrode and we've got a central electrode. We've just got to check the gap between them with this tool. That's set correctly to what it recommends in the book. So I'll just get this broken bit of plug out and we can pop the new spark plug back in. So screw that in, screw down finger tight and then we'll just nip it up with the ratchet. Quite simply, spark plugs will last around about 10,000 miles quite easily these days. So they, uh, they don't need changing every week. With that plug lead back on, it's exactly the same procedure for all four spark plugs in the row. I've uh, just got a final levels check before we um, finish off. And uh, yeah, that's spot on up to the mark, which is just nice. We'll double check it. Yep, that's a job well done. So we've effectively carried out a short service on the motor car. It's not expensive and you can see actually quite, not how easy it is, but it's certainly a task that you could have a go at yourselves.